Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Rebuild. Not too much has happened since the last time we talked. They destroyed my water treatment plant again. Uh, had a few zombie attacks, but, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. What? What? What is going on? My game is stuck. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna really... Everything I have, what goes on? It's still, okay. Oh, we're paused. Let's go unpaused. Oh. <sighs> Gustav brought an interesting one by today. A rather large lady dressed in purple burlesque corset and a miniature top hat from the folds of I'm not sure I want to know. She produced a miniature roulette wheel and... <laughs> A set of casino chips. Welcome to Madame Rita's roadside roulette. She rolled her R suggestively. Okay. Buy-ins, 10 ammunition, and you're going to door the grand prize. Whatever. We'll do it on jackpot. Uh, wrong number. Could she be controlling this thing somehow? Decline. All done. I gave you 20 ammo. Shut your face, lady. Now what? Now what? How much do I have? Yeah, I know that was coming. I knew it. I knew. I still lost the pharmacy. You'll start a constitution. We, our prized priority is keeping people safe. Leader and Senate chooses policies. Some shared, some private. Favored. The hardest workers. Kick out crime and punish her. Help anyone who needs it. We are a socialist republic. Uh, I will be governor. Now we can meet. Mission, meet with. All because I wanted a treatment plant for myself, you know. How dare I? Really? God. Whatever, they're gonna attack and kill that thing anyway. Oops. Sorry, go, go, go. I'm so tired of this. We got a little bit of a bath. Yeah, that's what I have to say about it all. That's what I was going to check. Do I have. We have two houses. Negative two houses left. So we need lots of housing. What's this? It's an apartment. You can go there. That's good. God, stop attacking my water tower. Talk with Malik. 
I'm not sure if Malak was meditating for two hours I waited for him or if he was just able to sleep sitting up. Once he did acknowledge my presence, he seemed happy to see us. He even invited us to see his koi pond. I didn't see any koi, but the blue heron sitting in the middle of it looked really happy. I'm looking for a good challenge, Malak told me. A good fight. One on one, no weapons, no stakes, but our pride. I want to meet your best warrior. If you are not him, please bring him to me. Malak uh, told during my visit to the rift today, told me that the last judgment game was making it hard to keep the dead in the ground. Every one of the rift's cleanup squads in the last week had been hit by the bikers as they went after Zed. He said he had a plan on how to stop the judgment from attacking everyone, but he needed some help to get things in place. Agree to help. Malak did a sort of bow thing, which I tried to do back without much success. He said that I honored him and asked if I would follow. Malak led me to a back office of his dojo with which was lined wall to wall with all sorts of exotic edged weapons, and I got the impression he knew how to use every one of them. He pulled out a map of the area and pointed out the old Crossroad Roads Mall that the Rifts used to spend their time downtime at. If we cleared it of Zed and built a few walls to keep any more from coming in, it wouldn't be that hard to lure the Last Judgment in with the promise of the goods that all the little boutiques still held. And between us and the Rifts, we'd be able to let the air out of the Judgment's time orders permanently. I was summoned to meet Malak this week at the Rift Fort. The mood was tense. They were offended that we officially formed a new government for Moses Lake without consulting them first. Malak warned me that taking our recent political actions was a great move against him. We have no. Uh, apologize. He seemed surprised. Okay. Father O'Grady and some of the Judgment Boys showed up at our gate this morning with long faces and empty gas canisters in their bikes. Soon they burned through a lot of fuel and were driving around the city and we're hoping that we had a little to spare. Yeah, you could stop attacking me now. That would be super duper. Whatever, I guess. I knew they were going to attack first, though. <laughs> three McDonald's. Or three Arch McDonald's, I should say. <sighs> no, I'm so tired of that. Okay, so we're gonna challenge them to a duel, right? Yeah. The duel was short, bloody, and final. Gabrielle walked away the victor, and the last judgment left with their tail between their legs. Bam! Okay, can I get this back now? Guys, don't need me here. Excuse me. We're gonna negotiate peace because I'm tired of getting. Do I have to pay for peace? Okay, pay for peace. Done. Rick Hale opened up to me today. Burp, excuse me, the doctor said that they cleaned out all the yeast bacteria out of my stomach, but it still hits me from time to time. Yeah, yeast bacteria. I used to be a home brewer, mead mostly. I spent so much time around the stuff that it took up resident in my intestines. You might think 
being able to get drunk with it, just eating a bagel sounds like a dream, but it sucks when you get pulled over for driving under the influence after visiting your local deli. You would be a good cook. Done. <sighs> of course I apologize. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. to get around. And he has a nail board, but it's just two. Give him the nail board. This is... my scavenger. Oops. He has a builder. Okay, we're done. Go away. I don't know what just happened there. Whatever. <laughs> Why is this always happening to me? Man, they're gonna go to war with me again because of the water treatment plant. Whatever. They want me to bring my highest level soldier, which is... Silver feather a builder. Why don't you guys fucking get How am I not? I'm getting so very frustrated. There 
we go. Okay. Can we claim that? You can claim that. And you can go here and kill the zombies. No, you can go here and protect everything. And you can go kill zombies. done with our zombie tree. <sighs> yeah, I know. Blah, blah, blah. Last Judgment are having a recruitment drive, specifically looking for soldiers to join them, and we'll treat them very well if they do. I can think of a few of our survivors who wouldn't mind joining the Last Judgment, or we could bring in someone else. The question is, can we live without them if they leave? <sighs> Whatever, I'll give them David. the farm though. my housing is still new. I thought I sent him. No, they sent David. I wanted to send Rick. Son of a bitch. Very saddened. Very sad. I wanted to keep that guy. Yeah. 
We're nearly out of materials. So am I. I'll take some food. While we were cleaning out the farmhouse and prepping to put that wall in, I felt something was by my cheek. I took a second to realize that someone was shooting us from the farmyard attic. I guess this place is still inhabited. Oops. The man up there with the rifle is like he wants to join us. Confront the man. Well, that didn't go too well. I got closer so we could talk face to face. I figured if I could just look him in the eyes, you know, he'd understand and mean him no harm. He turned the gun on me and I reacted, grabbing his arms and forcing them upwards. And he blew off his own head. This was an accident. I felt horrible. I don't know what to do with myself. I guess I'll finish that wall now. Well, that sucks for you. And for you, guy. have a horde coming in. Oops, I don't want to build anything. Fuck that. Oops. I'll kill this one. Other guy. the episode here uh the next one i don't know what we'll do in the next one i think we'll just do this quest next time and anyway until then uh yeah i don't know i'm bad at intro uh, i'm bad at intros outros and talking apparently i'll see you next time bye